Mick Taylor on the Paisley Drive. Very nice. I hope Brad Paisley never watches this. <laughs> uh, welcome to Pick and Mix, Stan and Mix Pick and Mix, our Tuesday show, where we look at four pedals, and uh, as you might have been able to tell, we kick off this week with the Wampler Brad Paisley, well, Paisley Drive Deluxe, the Pomeroy by Emerson. Mm -hmm. What's that? The Pink Panther by Pink Plus, Panther? Yes, reissue. And what's that on the end? Splash Mark Three by Crazy Tube Circuits. Oh, cool. Crazy. All right. Uh, let's start with the Paisley Drive then. So, Brad Paisley, I can give him a honk. Really? I've met Brad a few times, interviewed him a few times. Awesome. And he is a, a lovely fellow, most recently this year uh, at the O2. And that was on his board, and I was making a little video of his board. Right. And uh, he's like, oh, don't look at that. So, his main guitar is that is that old Paisley telly, is that right? Because that's what he, I see him mostly with. He has... Um, a number of telly guitars. So he's just brought out a signature Fender right. telly. His two favourite tellys are two fifty twos. I think they are. One of which got destroyed in the Nashville flood a few years ago, and another one which is an old one. And on tour, he uses these guitars called Crook Custom, which are made by his friends. I think it's Bill Crook. Anyway, Crook Custom, and those are the kind of really flashy ass, uh, super mega Paisley ones. Right. Okay. And then the pink Paisley one is a sixty eight pink old pink, which. Um, That's it the one. I... Is his old favourite guitar, but actually isn't his favourite favourite guitar. Okay. There you go. Sorry, bit of Brad Paisley history there. Stalk much? <laughs> Stalk, stalked a little bit. Stalked a little bit. If you don't know who Brad Paisley is, go check him out. Absolutely. He's amazing. He's country music royalty. Mega star. He is a killer singer. He is an unbelievable guitar player. So you were at the gig. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Did he play loud? He plays really loud. Okay. So he uses his he uses Doctor Z amps, right. and he's got a new one called the DB DB four maybe DBZ something like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, but because a Voxy type circuit sounds the way it does, mm -hmm. he also uses two plexis, hundred watt plexis. Wow! <laughs> to, to, In a country to, thing to fill it out, yeah. Because wow. it's all about headroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of people are really surprised by Brad mm. Paisley's guitar sound, which brings us into the Paisley drive. Um, you might not associate him with high gain, but if you listen to any of his records, usually somewhere underneath there is like a really thick tube screamery, high gain, almost filtered sound quite regularly. Wow. And he will use a lot of gain. Anyway, Dan, well, you, you've got the telly. Yes, has, you've got the you've got the paisley chops. <laughs> Here you go. It has two sides. I can't play your guitar on camera. It has two sides. Um, Let's start with channel one, shall we? So yep. Dan, Dan has set them up so that they're switchable from G2. Yeah, and there's a reason for this. I've just talked to our dear friend Jason, and he wanted me to show you something that this, that this pedal can do that's very cool. Um, but we'll get into that in a second. So at the moment... Okay, so channel uh, one yep. um, is the one on this side. Let's do the Sorry, let's do the amp first. We've, okay. got the, we've got the Vox AC15. Oh yeah, in honor of Brad, we've got a Voxy type amp. And the, and I'm sorry, of course, the two rock classic reverb. That's awesome. We were using these amps yesterday, they, they work so well together. So what's happening there is the Vox is breaking up just a tiny, tiny bit, especially when you hit it, and the two rock's doing the kind of underpinning bit which is kind of so which is kind of how brad has it okay. in his live rig right anyway blah 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 channel one um has bass middle and treble controls and level and gain and there's quite a lot of gain in here actually quite <laughs> That's brutal. He 
he does use that much gain. Wow. Yeah, especially on some um, some of the solos, there'll be like a really singing loud gain thing, but there will also be parts underneath. Right. Um, I've just noticed an extra switch. It's got true bypass or buffered. Okay. Which is pretty cool. Um, okay. Um, just try that with the strat a sec. I'll show you how much gain that can get with the strat. So that's on channel one. Yeah. Uh, uh, which is... Yeah. Another thing he does a lot is he'll have a really honky, honky sound that he'll just sit beneath the uh, the vocals. Right. That sounds so good. Not really like that, but um, if you listen to some Brad records, he will do that uh, a little bit honkier than that right. as a kind of cocked wah kind of sound. Okay. But he'll do it off an overdrive pedal. Right. So that's uh, one, and I guess with less gain. Ton of headroom, this pedal. If, if it didn't say Brad Paisley on it, you wouldn't be thinking Brad Paisley at this no, point, would you? not at all. Okay, channel one. Channel two has two voicings, Daniel. Scooby. Did I say tube screamer? He's a massive fan of tube screamers, but right. with the top put back in. Ah! So on his on the original Paisley drive, of which we've got one kicking around somewhere, um, there's various uh, switches for highs and mids and different sounds. So, right. but yeah, he's a massive fan of the tube screamer pushed sound into an AC30. Interestingly enough, uh, but it requires that high end and the clarity funny. back. A, 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 Tube screamer with high end telly into an AC30. Yeah, who's going to think that's going to work? Man alive! You should hear yeah. hear his sound. Could I? Could you give me a bit of slapback a sec? I can. So um, Brad always has a slapback from a DD2, and I can't remember how many milliseconds exactly, but he always has a bit of slapback from a DD2, right. which is his core delay sound. Okay. <laughs> Again, because that's not actually Brad Paisley. I think that's um, is it Brent Mason? Brent Mason, is it? Yeah. Actually, that might be the Brad Paisley one. I there's a few there's a admit. few little mo motifs like that.
that's a song off one of his records, has a line in it, when Donald Trump takes a part-time job driving cars, when Clint Eastwood does ballet in a big pink leotard, that's when I'll take you back. <laughs> That's killer. And on it goes. Finally, you can stack them, yeah? Yep. Wow. So yeah, the idea behind, you, you see you've got your four jacks here, which allows you to separate the sides. is so amazing. I had no, I had no idea he'd have anywhere near that much gain. Oh, you should hear some of his sounds. He's got crazy gain on some of his sounds. Wow. And also, you know, banging telly through an AC30. Anyway, uh, I love Brad Paisley, just in case you couldn't tell. Coming soon at the uh, thatpuddleshowstore.com. <laughs> I love Brad Paisley t-shirts. Moving on. Moving on. All right, this is the Pomeroy. We've had a couple of people have asked us about this pedal. I first saw this a few months ago, and I got all excited. Um, Made in Oklahoma, USA. Oklahoma. Oklahoma Who else do we Oklahoma. know from Oklahoma? Um, oh, was that Planes, Trains, and Automobiles? No, it wasn't. It was. Um, it was Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Keely, is he? Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Best Oklahoma scene ever. <laughs> Okay. Did you see that? No. That's Steve Martin. Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Anyway. It's a real prick. It's a boost overdrive and distortion pedal featuring 100% analog signal path. Yes. It's jam-packed. It's jam-packed. With an immense amount of features that will allow the player. That's the a player. Over there, ultimate control over their tonal palette and shaping needs. Two independent channels and they pair well. Independently or together. There is no, uh, uh, so, okay, so the, the boost sounds better after the overdrive. I know someone is going to disagree with that. Okay, so, you should grab this, sorry, grab the manual again. Th th what we've got. Okay. You've got, basically this is the overdrive circuit here. Yeah. Okay, and then this is the boost side here, okay. The overdrive circuit has got a three band EQ. You've got gain, master, and a blend control to blend your clean sound back in. Then you've got this five, sorry, six position knobby. And that gives you all different uh, diode configurations. Okay, and it goes from the least amount of gain to the most amount of gain. Okay, so here we have everything at basically 12 o'clock except for the blend control, which you're not going to turn off. If you want to have Schwang with that. So there, you can hear the me blending your original signal back in. Yep. Mm -hmm. To be fair, I mean, most of the time I've tried that with, with overdrive pedals, I haven't liked it, but with this, it does work quite well. Um, so yeah, a whole stack of cool things to do with Plate. diodes and things.
The, yes sir. I'm sure that all these diodes and everything are really good and enable you to get into a place, mm -hmm. but I personally felt that really three and four is where it was happening. Three and four. Four and five maybe. Yeah. As I often find that on on pedals with loads and loads of options, you've got many that but then you know maybe there's a use there for a different well, type of guitar or a different exactly amp or... and the way that you use the eq and everything yeah, with it yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's cool the when i first saw the preset screen i went oh wow it's I'm sorry the preset, preset screen there you go it's just it just tells you the level of the yeah. boost i reckon you wouldn't bother you wouldn't bother put that screen in if that's always if all it was there for right so i reckon I'm going to get into a bit of speculation here and say that they either wanted to put presets in it or there's going to be one coming with presets in it. Okay. Because that otherwise that's completely... You've, you've got a knob... Yeah, well, the thing is... You don't need it. Well, they there's a two-position yeah. uh, thing there. But in that case, why didn't they just make the last, the highest one, 24, and, you know... Why didn't you just yeah, make I know, I know. 10, 10 louder, louder and have that be the loudest and... This one goes to twenty-four. Um, Enormous amount of boost. Yeah, it's it is. and it, it is um, it's extremely transparent sounding. Mm. Right at the beginning, they were saying, "Oh, have you, is it even turned on?" Yeah, is it in yet? <laughs> anyway, the Pink Panther by JHS. <laughs> so this was um, JHS's first ever delay pedal. It puts um, tape, an analog tape, sorry, a simulation of a tape delay right and digital delay in one box ah so i'm assuming <laughs> I was struggling to find the digital tape switch because it's on the side. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, so, gan ye then, Daniel, to use a Scottish phrase. How nice is that? That sounds unreal. So two cool things. Um, the helpfully entitled dark pot. So the more it goes around to the right, the more treble you get on the repeats. Right. And two types of modulation. Right. Uh, the, there was a less swampy one second mm -hmm. and then a more swampy one first. So that's the analog bit. Um, up to one second of delay, apparently. Here's the tape. Let's go to tape. Actually, if you play, I will switch part of the way through.
sounds amazing. It's very good. It's very good. Um, subdivisions there if you want them. Really like that. A tremendous amount. Boy, oh boy. A tremendous amount. <laughs> We've moved on to the Crazy Tube Circuit Splash Mark III. It has three algorithms. Algorithm one is an exciter. Woo! I can't actually see the front panel. Oh, I see. There you go. I've got it. Uh, two is a moderate sized reverb. And three is a large reverb. What's the excite? Doesn't do anything in. Oh, adds harmonics presence and presence to the reverb apparently. Okay. Keep going. In this mode it also does pre-delay. Okay. Very lovely. It's interesting, isn't it? Because there's so many great reverbs around at the right. moment, and everyone's obviously finding that chip and doing lots of cool things to it, or mm. a, a similar chip. Um, very crowded marketplace. It is. Especially when you've got people like uh, New Neighbor, MXR, or no, no. not even to mention Strymon. So, yeah. Cool, though. It's cool, though. Easy to use, no, no menus, Yeah. no programming. Yeah, I so, like that. I mean, there are some. What's the when Keely did the uh, the thirty millisecond one, and that has a. It's, again, it's a really simple thing to use that double tracker, but there's a reverb sound in that that is just mm. amazing. He's killing the reverb. He is moment. killing it in a good way. That's um, yeah, the new the new caverns. Got it. Yeah. Anyway, but it sounds great. The Pink Panther is amazing. That really has a voice. Mm. It's awesome. Um, Pomeroy, very good. Uh, we, we've heard a lot of good overdrive pedals recently. Yeah, a lot of absolutely killer overdrive pedals. Yeah. Again, super crowded market. Yeah. The the EQ and the blend control yeah. though is great. And the Paisley drive. I mean, killer. Just awesome. I love you, Brad. <laughs> On that rather awkward note, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. And uh, please check out our exclusive preferred retailers in the description below. Yep. Thank you very much to all our patrons on Patreon. Yes, you help thank us you keep guys. us doing what we're doing. And also, please head to that pedal show store and buy yourself a garment, maybe even one that <laughs> makes it hard for you to be seen. <laughs> just a flo just a floating head. Just a floating head. Cool. 
Cheers, guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you Friday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.